It feels so good to start a day with a coffee. Like it's weird, right? I can't remember exactly when, but there was just one day drinking coffee started becoming your daily routine. Like I remember when I was studying abroad in the UK, fighting for deadlines. I don't really feel the need to drink a coffee. No Red Bull, no nothing. My tea room is no the best, because I love studying. The eagerness to explore just naturally keeps me up at night. Oh my gosh, you're such a nerd. Typication. So tell me, how is the short intro guys? Do you guys like it? I mean come on man, tell me that's not cool. Leave your thoughts on the comments down below. If you do think it's cool, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. So what I figure out in the middle of my shower is that I need a short intro for any legit YouTube channel. Like it's kind of weird to start your talking straight away. Alright, let's start with addressing some of your questions that you guys have regarding my last video. Nah nah, wait a second. Now tell me. Who hasn't watched my first ever video on YouTube? I mean, how dare you? I mean, look at that. 700 views in 7 days. Are you really gonna miss out? Do you allow yourself to miss out, huh? Alright, so first of all, let's start with comments on Facebook. Um, shout out to Michael. I'm not gonna pronounce your last name. I'm not gonna embarrass myself. Man, this guy's editing just blew my mind. Um, if you guys want to check out his video, link in the description below. I'll just do my bit to help you promote a little bit. You think you have the potential to do really good things with editing. The story leads really well to the video. 660 views in 6 days is pretty good for a new channel. Where have you been promoting it? I mean, first of all, I can't start by not addressing the fact that I have a bunch of supportive friends on my social media, like Instagram and Facebook. <sighs> Fucking nervous right now. I'm about to upload my first ever video on YouTube. It's been, I don't know, it's been over two years since i longing for this moment. So right now I'm just ready to launch everything. The wait is finally over. The historic moment is here. It's crazy. I never expect, I never expect this, like really. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I know I don't deserve it. Without you guys, I'm nothing, right? So, second question, which is from YouTube um, by Lee and Google. I really like the song, but I'm wondering, can you get monetized with that song? I mean, do you have a license for that? Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to monetize with this song. It's with all the popular songs out there. It comes with a uh, copyright. Now, on this occasion, YouTube won't take down or mute any of my video, um, but any ad revenue associated with this video will be transmitted to the copyright owner. But first, I have to acquire 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, which you all know what to do. So this one is from Facebook group as well? Wow, I cannot believe you only have one video, but it is so well made. Shout out to Yaili. Another YouTube comment, shout out to the sunny side of coffee. Nice name, bro. Your video is amazing and entertaining as well. Ooh, this video must have taken a while to make. The editing is outstanding, bro. Thank you, thank you for the time for us. Man, it's really amazing to see how supportive this YouTube community is. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it took me months to make this video. Well, not just the editing part, but I was in fear. I was in fear of judgement, of not good enough, of nobody's gonna watch it, and I always seek to perfect my video. But then, I realized there is no perfection. There is always room for improvements, right? So moving on to the fourth question, which is from World Wild Hearts. Great video, would you recommend the working holiday overall? We have one for September and hoping the coronavirus settles down prior to that so that we can make it. Man, I'm so happy that you asked this question. And second of all, I'm happy that you are gonna start yours soon. You're gonna have the best time of your life there. Oh man, I could sit down with you and talk for days. So let's say if I were to never go on a working holiday. But deep down I know I really wanted to, right? But for whatever reason, time, comfort zone, money. And then suddenly, boom! When you turn 31, there's no way of turning back. And then it will stay as a form of imagination for the rest of your life. So why not turning dreams into reality? So how did this trip happen? The story goes like this. This freaky German dude, Nico, was actually one of the first people I met when I first arrived in Australia. We were staying in the same hostel, and three months later, one day he just phoned me. Hey, let's do a road trip. So I said, okay, for how long? One month. I mean, wow. 
We post it on Facebook, three girls tag along and here we go. I had to sleep with Nico on the top deck of the camper fan which is a piece of wood for the whole damn month. It was not easy, but it will for sure go down to my storybook. In which I would have never imagined before coming to Australia. I mean how amazing is that, right? So, as you guys might know, um, the current status in New South Wales is, is pretty bad, I would say. Nowadays, we are in stage 2 lockdown, which means basically uh, everything is shut down besides necessary things, which means like pharmaceuticals, um, grocery stores, fighting for toilet papers, all the meats, veggies, stock was empty, like no pasta, no rice. I know it's probably not a good time to go out, but we still have to eat, we just moved to a new airbnb. I am going to bring you guys to the supermarket and we will see if there are any dramatic things going on there. This will be me, first time trying to hold a GoPro in front of everyone. <laughs> so go easy on me. Not sure if you guys have noticed, but actually I forgot to shave before vlogging. So it was at one of the hostels that I was staying in and it's just fell into a depot there and it never see the lights again. Still working. Still working perfectly fine, so... Oh, fresh air! Let's go! What a view! Look at that! Do you like this place? Yes! It's good to have a little bit of sunshine after staying home all day, you know? How chill is this place? Very good! Very good? Yeah! I want to get some coffee! You want to get some coffee? It's yeah. right there! Go get it! <laughs> get <freeze>. What? No! <laughs> I have no money! Please, coffee! I I'm uh, broke! I get the flat white? Flat white? Yeah. You're a barista, you can make it by your own. See all these banks. No one's is working right now. Where are all the lazy workers? So yeah, for safety reasons, I got my mask on. That's what we're supposed to be, remember guys. We have already arrived. Our first station here is the Woolies. So as you can see, social distancing. Social distancing, kind of. So 1.5 meters away from me. We are now protected. And we are good to go. The thing about our Airbnb is, they are not allowing us to cook anything. <laughs> so I don't really know what to get. Look at all these colors right here. Damn. I mean, look at these varieties. Like before coming to Australia, there are many veggies that I still didn't know what what the hell is going on with them. Like I have never seen this in my life. Baby crocodile. Have you seen this before? They usually have this prepared meals, but usually they are pretty pricey. Like Ten bucks. So yeah, that's a no go for me. Look, so discounted. Have we, have we got a chicken for our dinner? Yeah. It's a whole chicken for like seven dollars. Like look at that. Can you smell that? See. Damn, it smells so good from here. Like surprisingly, um, there are not much crazy stuff going on in this supermarket. Like, um, as you can see here, like pretty much all the things are in stock. I'm, I'm pretty surprised. Like, a few days ago when I went to the other supermarkets, all oh, right, there you can see. So when we actually reached the meat area, um, you can basically find nothing besides turkey, mash, in which these are all less favorite options. So like look, basically, um, all the lambs are out of stock, customer notice, chooses, and meat. That's the comparison right here. Well, at least they are sausages, which is pretty good. Your favorite? Yeah, my favorite. Uh, the favorite is sausage, yeah. That's my pork sausage. Uh, I don't think you can find it. There are already extra water supplies putting on the floor as you can see. But guys, check this out. 
we arrived to the pasta area and look what we found here literally nothing I mean I can find you just to showcase you guys how crazy that is in case for the viewers in Hong Kong in other areas um, limited to two packs per transaction there are not even two packs right here <laughs> How can I find two packs of pasta? But I can buy pasta sauce but without pasta. How ironic is that? Right, so, the moment you have been waiting for. Toilet paper. Let me look at that. Yeah, get some toilet papers. It's pretty essential, right? I'm surprised there's still stock in here. Like for real. Obviously, Woolies did a good job in preparing all the chaos. As you can see from the customer notice here Everyone is limited to one pack of toilet paper per transaction Yeah, one pack One pack, are you getting one pack? What kind of? No No? Why? Because We all need toilet papers to wipe our ass Should we buy? No um, Apparently we didn't get much stuff I made mistake. <laughs> she made mistake. That's alright, everyone makes mistakes. No one cares. Yeah, apparently that happens quite a lot. So. <laughs> Yeah. Here as well. Aaron's getting toilet papers. Yay! The world can be a better place with toilet papers. Let's go. And uh, we finished our shopping. Basically, got nothing. Um, and yeah, we're moving on to the next place. What's this? Japanese sake. Japanese sake. Why are they so big? Normal. How can you drink off that? Like like just just hold no. just hold the whole thing and put yeah, put yeah, on yeah. top of no. your head. It's open, like you huh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're very informative. <laughs> Love that. Can I actually turn? Stop and sanitize. Good girl. That doesn't look good at all yeah sanitizer getting a pack of chicken this beautiful buildings right here oh my god that's the best buildings I've ever seen the thing about Australia is that there are huge job losses right now like including me but obviously uh, when you think about all the working all the makers who are working at hospitality all the restaurants all the hotels were closed pretty damn tough during this time so um. Look at that beautiful Sydney. So yeah, afterwards we just went on to finding a place that has Wi-Fi. That is for uploading my first video on YouTube. And in the middle of it, as we passed through an empty huge shopping center. I had a huge but not too good idea. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for staying until the end. If you guys do enjoy my content, do give this video a like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. On the next episode is Wakana's birthday, so we are gonna do a quarantine workout, moving on to a new Airbnb, and possibly covering our work in a face mask factory, the hottest commodity in the world right now. Sounds appealing enough, yeah? So I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.